Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. Well, this is Rahul Magan here and today we are going to speak about one of the critical topics in non-deliverable forward markets which is shortly known as NDF which is titled as NDF liquidity swap for importers. If you look at the YouTube channel, you would be able to see the NDF liquidity swap for exporters. But today we are going to speak about NDF liquidity swap for importers. Now please be understand that. NDF is nothing but a non-deliverable forward. Non-deliverable forward means something where you are not going to deliver anything, both the parties. So forward contract, I'm giving a generic definition of a forward contract. So for a non-deliverable forward contract, if you're an exporter, you will not give you a foreign currency, you will not get the INA or any other local currency. And in case of importer, you will not deliver local currency and you, and you will not get the dollars. So this is non-deliverable, this is non-deliverable forward contract. Now in, in non-deliverable forward contract, one thing which we need to understand very clearly that there is one thing which is known as liquidity swap. There are a lot of people in the market who are saying that the liquidity swap is nothing but a swap which people are trying to take care to do to arbitrage onshore offshore relationship or onshore offshore spread. They might not be wrong. There are a lot of people who are doing that. And once you take the NDF, the, val the revaluation would surely have an impact. So this video would be divided into three parts. The first part we are going to we are going to set up a case. So approximately 15 minutes kind of video. And second part we are going to move ahead. And third part we are going to conclude. Now hereby I am taking an example of one of the largest oil companies in the world to whom I am terming at Exxon Mobil. I am writing short Exxon Mobil. Now in Exxon Mobil, Exxon Mobil is the largest petrochemical company in the world. I am shortly writing as the oil company in the world. And I'm assuming that ExxonMobil would like to take a non-deliverable forward contract since they are the largest importer or the petrochemical companies. Henceforth, I'm writing that they are the largest importer in the world. In ExxonMobil, I'm assuming that they want to go for a forward, non-deliverable forward of assuming $250 million. And today they are sitting on assuming 28 of February 2016 and as you understand that non-deliverable forward forward contract would have one sync with each other which is known as revaluation. First let me give you a small explanation. A non-deliverable forward contract is a forward contract which is taken in offshore treasury centers. Now what do you mean by offshore treasury center? Over the period of the time, due to the pessimist attitude of the various central banks across the globe, there are a lot of non-deliverable forward contracts came, a lot of offshore treasury centers came into like Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Dubai, New York, London, Luxembourg, Frankfurt and lot others. And out of that, Singapore play a very important role. We all understand that Singapore is amongst the largest, it's, it's, it's an Asian financial center, acknowledged or not. And I, I, I suppose that almost 60% of the forward con non deliverable forward contracts are moving from Singapore. Now in that regards, assuming ExxonMobil via any of the subsidiary, here I am taking an example of ExxonMobil US. ExxonMobil want to take a non deliverable import side. So we are not going to repeat again and again. So this is just we are concluding that when we are talking about ExxonMobil, we are talking about an import position. So ExxonMobil is doing an import position of $250 million and since every month the revaluation would run so in non-deliverable forward contract you would have a gain loss in one side and you would have an impact of revaluation on the second side so both sides are going to hit both sides is going to cancel each other this is non-deliverable forward contract now in this we assume in this we assume that today is 28 february 2016 now this video speaks about the orthodox way of doing non-deliverable forward contract and moving forward we are going to have one thing which is liquidity swap. So what a treasurer will do, treasurer will wait for 29th February 2016. Why 29th February 2016? Because this is the last working day for a foreign exchange market. And since we agreed that they will take for one month, so they are going to take it for 31st of March 2016. Now sitting on February 2016, assuming they are taking a position in USD INR. So they are taking for their Indian subsidiary which is ExxonMobil India. Now non-deliverable forward contract would only be settled using fix, fixing. Fixing is shortly known as fix. Fixing is shortly known as fix. 
Now there are six or seven currencies which are fixed, like CNY, Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, shortly known as IMD, INR, KRW, Korean won, PKR, Pakistani rupee. I think it is Nepalian peso also. You have MUR, uh, Mauritian ringgit, uh, and you have MYR as well. And these are five six currencies which are on non-deliverable forward contract. Now in these five six currencies. One thing too we are talking about this is INR, right? At, at 12.45 p.m. IST, Reserve Bank of India, which is the Central Bank of RBI, published the INR fixing, which is known as FIX, which is shortly known as FIX. Now in this, we assume that sitting on 29 February 2016, the fixing published is 68.50. So I'm, I'm writing here as fixing and one month premium stands at 50 pesa. So the outright rate, outright rate will be equals to fixing plus premium, which is equals to your so-called 68.50 plus 50 pesa, which is 69. Now this one month premium, now they have fixed one month import side NDF. I write here import one month import side NDF at 69 and the dollar notional which they are importing is 250 million dollars. So they have taken, the position is taken in the books of ExxonMobil New York for ExxonMobil India. Remember the fact, if you are doing with USD INR, remember the five golden rule. No Indian company can take NDF. So ExxonMobil cannot take NDF. It is ExxonMobil, US, Mauritius, Singapore, Malaysia, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, they are going to take it. Secondly, no Indian bank can give NDF. So here we are assuming that they are done with ANZ Singapore. ANZ means Australia, New Zealand Bank, ANZ Singapore. ANZ India cannot give NDF. Third, you will not deliver anything. So ExxonMobil will not deliver this 250 million dollars. If ExxonMobil will not deliver 250 million dollars, of course, rule number four, the, 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 the so-called ANZ Singapore will not give any INR. The fifth and the golden rule, the net settlement would happen in dollar. Of course, the net settlement can happen in any foreign currency. It could happen in GBP, CHF, Swiss franc, US dollar, your Chinese yuan, it could be your Singapore dollar, but that cross, need to factor it in the pricing but we are going ahead with the general principle of non deliverable forward contract that the settlement would happen in dollars so 29th february 2016 they're done with the ndf and ndf rate is 69 rupees now this is a part of their books now they'll wait now 31st march 2016 Assuming the fixing is by RBI, so we will take three fixing. Assuming the fixing is RBI is 68, assuming fixing is 69, assuming fixing is 72. If the fixing is 68 and you bought at 69, you would have loss of 1 rupee per dollar. So I'm writing bracket, this is 1. If it is 69, it would be 0. If it would be 72, you would have a gain on 3 rupee per dollar. So how would you calculate the dollar amount? It is equal minus one into 250 million divided by the fixing rate, which is 68. So this is the dollar you pay or you have to receive from ANZ Singapore. This is a transaction which would happen. I'm writing here again, which would happen between, between ExxonMobil and ANZ Singapore. Remember the five golden rule of non-deliverable forward contract. Number one, no Indian company can take a non-deliverable forward contract. Number two, no Indian bank can give non-deliverable forward contract. Number three, you will not deliver anything. Number four, of course, if you not deliver anything, you will not get anything. Number five, you will only settle in dollar. Of course, you can settle in any foreign currency, but that you need to price in in your pricing. So this is the normal structure of a non-deliverable forward contract, which ExxonMobil, amongst the largest oil companies in the world, they are taking in Singapore market from ANZ Singapore. ANZ means Australia, New Zealand Bank, Singapore. <coughs> now in the next video, 
I am going to talk about how they can change this structure which is known as liquidity swap. At the end I want to thank you and I hope you had a look at our latest treasury magazine which is uh, the Maverick Treasurer. You are most welcome to call me at 9198992429078. You are welcome to write to us at rahulmagan89 at the rate gmail.com to get a copy of your treasury magazine. Thank you very much and have a good luck.